So I've been living out of my van for a little over four years. And over the last four years, I have relied on a gym membership to be able to take a shower. Uh, that's in fact the only reason I've had a gym membership. I don't work out, as you could probably tell. Uh, I just go into the gym, I take a shower, and then I leave. Now, when the lockdown happened, of course, my gym closed down and I lost that ability to go in and take a shower. One of the humorous things to me is about three weeks into the lockdown and me not having access to my gym shower, uh, the people at work, some of the people at work would ask me, how are you, how are you showering? And uh, I would usually answer them in one of two ways. I would, I would either just say, I'm not. Uh, or I would ask them, do I smell? You know, I'm sorry, do I smell? Um, but I wasn't stinky, I wasn't smelly, I didn't look terrible, and so that's why they really wanted to know how I was pulling off staying clean. And uh, so that, that got me thinking that I should probably kind of revisit that and just kind of share with everybody how I stay clean and how even though I have really been relying on a gym shower, how I don't really need to go to the gym and take a shower. So I just kind of walk you through what I do every morning uh, here in the van just to stay clean. Um, I do have a little bit to say about the whole gym membership thing and um, I'll probably hold that off until later. So right now I'll just get into what I do every single morning and how I stay clean every single day. Now, whenever the subject of van life and showering and bathing happens, the, we always talk about wipes. Now, I keep some of these around, but I don't like to use them for general bathing purposes. It's, to me, it just seems like they move the dirt around and they don't really do much. Uh, but I do keep them around. I keep some around at all times because they do work for one area of the anatomy and they work quite well for that. And so I like them for that purpose, but for bathing, yeah, they're not for me. So we're, we're not gonna talk about these, but we always have to bring them up because everybody figures that if you live in a van, this is what you used for, for a shower or for a bath. Yeah, not me. Well, I am fortunate that I have a sink with running water here in my van. This sink makes cleaning up in the morning really easy. Of course, it makes brushing my teeth really easy and it makes bathing easy. I don't really know a great way to put this. It seems like showering is not quite the right word. Bathing is not quite the right word. Uh, in the past, I've used the term bird bath. Uh, seems to be the most, uh, you know, genteel way of talking about what uh, I do to stay clean here. So just running you through what I do, how I do it. Uh, this is just gonna be a dry run. Clothes are staying on. So what I do every morning is really quite simple. I have a little pan that I hang off the side of my sink here. I take some water out of my sink. And then I take this water and I put it on my stove. This is one of the reasons why I like having a stove that is set up and ready to use at all times in my van. It's because every morning, this is what I do to start my day. Take some water, I warm it up, because I really think that warm water works much better for bathing uh, than cold water does. So once I've got my water warmed up in my pan, I just set that in the sink. Now I do this because I found that this is the easiest way to kind of keep the mess down. I've got such a small space here that it's very easy to get water all over the place. So I find that if I just put a little bit of water in the pan, put the water in the sink, that kind of minimizes my mess and my cleanup after. Now at this point, 
I normally grab some soap and add a few drops into my warm water. Now I say a few drops because I use Dr. Bronner's Castile soap. Now if you're not familiar with this soap, this is highly concentrated. In fact, I can give you kind of a visual on that. Uh, this is the bottle I've been using for the last five months. I think it's I think I bought this exactly five months ago. This is a 16 ounce bottle. You can see it's still got a little bit left. There's still a couple of ounces still left in it. Um, super highly concentrated soap. The one mistake people use when they first buy Dr. Bronner's and try it for the first time is dousing themselves with a ton of soap. Uh, you don't need it. This stuff is super concentrated. It's a little bit deceiving though because it doesn't foam up like regular soaps. This is an all-natural soap and so it doesn't have uh, a bunch of foaming agents like a lot of soaps do. This little pan holds a liter of water. So if that little pan is full of water, I'll add just a few drops of soap. That's all I need right there. That's it. I'll take a washcloth, get my washcloth wet uh, in my pan of warm water. So believe it or not, I find that this actually works really well for me. Now, if I'm really dirty, I might need to just dump the water out, add some fresh water and heat it up, start the process all over again. But usually for most days, I find that just one liter of water is all I need to really feel clean and refreshed and start my day. But once I'm done scrubbing myself down, uh, I take my washcloth, my now dirty washcloth, I wring it out the best I can into my sink, and then I keep a bunch of little clips, magnet clips here, and I just clip them, uh, I just clip up the washcloth here for it to dry. Once it's dry, then I can throw it down into my dirty laundry bag. Well, I hope I'm getting across that this is a really easy thing for me to do to clean up every morning. It's just not a big deal to not have a traditional shower. Uh, but we should talk about drawbacks uh, because there are a couple. Uh, one is water. Uh, since I'm cleaning up here in the van and I can really only hold about 12 gallons of water at a time, uh, that means that I have to go out and buy more water a lot more often. Uh, that's a little bit of a, a problem. Um, not a big problem because I live in the city most of the time. Uh, the other thing is time. Uh, this takes a lot longer to bathe than it does if I had a shower to just jump into. You know, you think about if you're ever late for work and you just jump in the shower, you lather up, you hose yourself down, and you're on your way. I can't do that here. It uh, just doesn't work. Um, this is a slow process. And the dirtier I am, the slower the process is. I mean, that's that's just the problem uh, with, with this way of cleaning up. Um, but I still can stay clean. So that gets us around to the gym shower. Now, I lost my ability to go take a shower at my gym. And believe it or not, that hasn't been a big issue for me. In fact, uh, last week I just called my gym and canceled my membership. Um, I found over the last few months here uh, that I just don't really need to have uh, that gym shower. Um, I really look at having a gym membership and a gym shower as a luxury. And um, I just, I just don't think I need it anymore. Now that doesn't mean that I don't ever need to take a shower. And I have found a couple other ways of taking a shower. If this isn't working and I feel like I want to have kind of a, a more luxurious experience of dousing myself with nice hot water, uh, I have found another couple of ways. I'll get into those in the future because one of them is quite simple 
Uh, the other is going to take a bit of explaining. So we're, we're going to save that for another video. But um, I think the thing that I kind of want to get a, to get across is that uh, I just haven't felt like I've needed to have that monthly expense of going to the gym. The fact is, over the last about two years now, I've only been going to the gym once a week just because I, I, I just don't seem to really need it. So uh, I've cut cut that out, it, that expense out of my uh, out of my budget. Now this is usually the point of the video where I say uh, if I've forgotten anything or if you have any questions that I didn't cover, uh, you can drop your question down the comment section below and I will try to answer them. But I mean, what more can I really talk about? This is a simple process, but it's a simple process because I planned for this in the future. I mean, this is the design that I came up with over four years ago when I was designing out the van because I really was afraid that at some point I may not be able to afford my, my gym membership or I may not be able to get to my gym uh, to take a shower. And so I wanted to be able to clean up and stay clean and healthy at any time, even if I didn't have that gym shower to go to. So I didn't realize that my gym membership was going to be taken away from me uh, like it has this, these last few months. But it's been kind of a learning experience for me in that now I know I don't really need to be spending that money uh, in having uh, that extra expense. But um, anyway, uh Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll get into the other things I've got going on, uh, shower-wise and otherwise, here in the van, hopefully in the next video. I'm saying that to try to, you know, make myself get to the ne that next video. We'll see if it works. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching.